going on, good people? We are back once again, back with my man El Jefe Joe, the sneakerhead. You guys can follow him at Throw Up the Kicks. Since you have like your own Instagram and you started like marketing yourself and you just went like that extra mile, who do you feel just inspired you to just start stepping out, marketing yourself, try to just distribute sneakers? Who started that for you? Uh, I mean, I, there's this guy on Instagram, uh, at Benjamin Kicks. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah I know Ben. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he's like 17 years yeah. old. He's dope, Seven. man. I just, uh, when I started selling sneakers, mm -hmm. I was like, you know, if I market myself and I make it out myself, yeah. then I feel like, you know, more people will respect it out of the game instead of me getting put on. Exactly. So, I mean, I, I've come a long way, man. Yeah. Like, I've sold sneakers to a lot of people, man. A lot. That's amazing. A lot of different type of people, too. Yeah all just different demographics oh yeah and that's perfect because people always say like millennials we can't like market ourselves or go out there and we think that everything is just like handed to us but i can just firmly attest i know joe personally so seeing how he's changed everything is possible so for all those kids out there that's trying to start like their own business what's that one word of advice that you would just give them to you know serve like that inspiration for them and it's mental toughness, man. Gotcha. You know, starting a business, it's, it's not easy, you know. Yeah. I'm still informal, mm -hmm. but, you know, I'm headed to the, towards being formal. formal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it's all about mental toughness, man, you know. Gotcha. Start, starting a business, you got tough times, yeah. you lose money sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So it's all about staying focused and knowing that you got it. Because, yeah. you know, it's, in the business world, you, you will lose money. <laughs> yeah. You will lose money. Hey, it's all part of the process. Yeah. So, Joe, seeing that you're in school, you're working. You have your own business. How do you do it? How is it possible? Oh uh, man, I don't sleep a lot. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, right now I'm just you know working a part time job, full time mm -hmm. student, and really uh, trying to be on the sneaker stuff. I'm part time right now, but mm -hmm. if in the summer I'll be I'll be more into it. But it, it's tough, man, because. If I wasn't in school, I'd be yeah. more involved in the, in the sneaker culture, yeah. or sneaker selling. Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, a lot of dudes who are selling shoes right now, they uh, they're full time. You know, they're <laughs> not tough. they're not in school. Yeah. I'm in school, that's the difference. You know, and working and working. Yeah, still making it happen. Trying, man. Yeah. So people always say that somebody's background molds them. So if you can, can you tell like everybody where you're from, how your environment has just molded you to see the man that you are that's standing right here today, seeing that you're working, you have jobs, and at the same time you're in school, have your own business, marketing yourself, you have no promo team, like you're your own promo person, like how are you doing this, and where did like your background and surroundings and how did all of those things mold you into you are, well into the person that you are today? Uh, I was born in Atlanta, but I was raised in uh, Tyrone, uh, gotcha. Fayette County. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, my parents raised me well. My, my dad's always told me, yo, you got to go get it. Mm -hmm. You know, no, no, nothing's going to be handed to you. Yeah. So, my dad definitely inspired me. Shout out to my dad and my mom. You know, yeah. my dad's just always told me, you know, you got to make the right business decisions. Mm -hmm. Always surrounding myself with, uh, with people like you, you know, Nick, <laughs> Phil, sure. yeah. uh, all good people. Shout out to smart the team, people. man. Yeah, yeah I mean, most definitely, most definitely always been around people who you know we, we want to be successful yeah so exactly that type of environment i've been in has inspired me to keep going on my sneaker business you keep know what working I'm keep working guys follow this guy on instagram i'm telling guys you won't be disappointed and where and why do you feel that you're starting to get like that following that's growing i know that you're doing like your own promo and stuff but how is it actually being effective how is that possible um, I think people see that I'm doing it on my own, mm -hmm. so they're kind of respecting it more. Yeah. You know, when I uh, when I post a picture on Instagram, you know, I get I get a lot of DMs sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes from uh, like local Atlanta rappers, not not too mainstream, but yeah. you know, people it's somebody to, somebody it's somebody. <laughs> it's somebody. So I think that uh, you know, me just pushing myself is definitely helping me because. I, I trust me, I've came a long way, man. I, yeah. I, went, I had zero followers, now I got a hundred. I'll have a thousand in a few months, man, hopefully. Growing, growing. Who is that one businessman that has inspired you, not like sneakers-wise, but just like overall? Like, who's that person that made you just say, I have to grind just like that, or maybe even harder just to get to where I have to get to? 
I gotta say Bill Gates, man. Yeah. He's, he's the richest. Yeah. So if you wanna if you wanna be the best, follow Bill Gates' steps. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, you know he dropped out of Harvard. But so that's you different. see where he is right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's making it but work. <laughs> it, I mean, you gotta look at the the ones who are doing it the best. Yes. If you wanna be the best, so yeah. that's that's the that's the guy. I'm, you know, I I read some of his quotes, mm -hmm. some of the stuff he talks about, and the advice he gives to entrepreneurs. So yeah. Definitely Bill Gates. He's killing it. Earlier, you said that you don't get too much sleep. Me neither, too. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> so, some kids that's out there, you know, always try to say, well, I have to sleep. Like, I have to get in, like, my seven hours. What do you have to say to those viewers out there that's trying to make it, but they don't know how much it takes to actually get there? Uh, I mean, I want to say, you know, sleep is definitely important. Yeah. But if you want to do what you want to do, do it at a young age. Yeah. You know, invest your time right now. So you can get a, a greater return later. You Most know, definitely. right now I'm not getting I'm getting four, five hours of sleep, four <laughs> yeah. hours of sleep. It's still going. Um, yeah, I mean I'm investing my time right now. So <laughs> in the future I want to be working for myself. You know, retired, That's being cool. 30, 40 years old, sleeping in whenever I want to. I want to wake already up. Already earned it. Yeah, I want to wake up to a to a check. You know, it's not Making move, money not, while you're sleeping. Not moving a finger and getting paid. That's the goal. That's amazing. definitely the goal. That's amazing. Guys, I'm blown away. I know you guys are probably blown away as well. So we'll be right back after this break. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Chilling with Caleb.